welcome to a Star Wars The Black Series review of the Star Wars Target exclusive Galaxy's Edge of Captain Cardinal. Let's check out the packaging, then break this guy open and go over the detail, articulation, and figure comparison. So, this is the standard Black Series. The only thing difference is you have the transport from the Galaxy's Edge trade post from that too, which if you've never been, it's amazing. I highly recommend going. There's a great image of Captain Cardinal. Here's the side, Captain Cardinal, the back of the box. Check it out if you really wanna read about Mr. Cardinal. And then this really cool trading post spine. Let's crack this guy in. Now that we got Captain Cardinal out of the packaging, we're gonna take a closer look at this figure. And I gotta say, you know, oh no, I really love this figure. I know it's just a, you know, a red stormtrooper essentially, you know, but I really like the line for the Galaxy's Edge and haven't been to Galaxy's Edge. And again, you don't see him. Um, in the uh, at the park, at least to my knowledge, I know he comes from the book Black Spire. Um, but you know, you never know. It's probably not that difficult to find someone to wear it, and then who knows? Maybe we'll see him in a future TV series or sh or movie. Who names it? But he is a really awesome looking character. Um, you know, and uh, I want to see this line continue. I want to see more characters coming from Galaxy's Edge. You know, there was a comic book uh, for Galaxy's Edge, and there's a lot of characters that were in that that I'd like to see become figures. Um, so, you know, you know, the last guy we got was the R5P8 Black Series droid, uh, which I will link above. So you guys can go check out that review. So I'd like to see more. So let's get into the figure. You know, the red Stormtrooper just looks really cool. I love that it's a soft goods cape. Why couldn't we get that with the Mandalorian figure? But whatever. Here is a closer look at his blaster. He's got another blaster attached to his hip. You know, so it's basically just, you know, the same uh, Stormtrooper, you know, that we've been getting since, you know, The Force Awakens. So, like, you know, I, I, if you don't know the articulation by now, I, I just, I don't know. So I don't know if it's really necessary to go over the articulation. Um, it's just literally the same articulation as every other Stormtrooper that you've seen since, like, 2000, what, 14? or 15 or whatever. Um, but I will say, you know, the difference, like like a lot of people are like, oh, I think this is a repaint of Phasma. It's not, it's a it's a, it's a repaint of, of the Stormtrooper. And uh, like I said, I like the fact that we have a soft goods cape. To me, that's really cool, it's really refreshing. You know, I like it when we get the soft goods depending. Like this one, I feel like, yeah, it's, it, I, this one, either way, if you got the Phasma cape, it works, but this one, you have a little bit more leeway. But, you know, like I said, the Mandalorian, you know, the new ba uh, Baskar Mandalorian, why we didn't get a soft good cape, I don't know. But, oh no, I really like this figure, I like this line. We're gonna bring up some other Galaxy's Edge figures to size compare with these. You know, we got the Mountain Trooper, which I think is a fantastic figure. And then we have, um, <clears throat> what's his name? Uh, yeah, Commander uh, Pryor, couldn't think of his name. He's from Star Wars Resistance, so we actually have seen him in action. He's from a book, and I, I think they've discussed uh, the Mountain Troopers in a book, but we haven't seen them. It would be nice to see some of these characters maybe make its way into the Mandalorian. I would love to see the Mandalorian go to Batu. Uh, it'd be really cool. But all in all, I think it's a really great figure. It's not much to go over, considering that if you haven't seen any reviews of some Stormtroopers from you know, the Force Awakens line, you know, it's the same thing, you know, the only difference is it's painted red. So like, I don't know if this is gonna appeal to everybody, but to me as a fan of, of, of you know, Disney and Star Wars and the parks, you know, to me, it's like a, it's like a bringing the parks home to you. So that, to me, that's what makes it so cool. That's why I love the Galaxy's Edge line because there's a lot of people that maybe they're never get a chance to go to Galaxy's Edge. And it's a way to go to a store nearby you and, and get some of the merchandise. So to me, I think that's really cool. So I really love this figure a lot. I love the coloring. And again, it's not gonna be for everybody, but it's for me and maybe it's for you. You know, please uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the Galaxy's Edge line. If you've been to Galaxy's Edge, what's your favorite part of Galaxy's Edge? And uh, if you read the book, uh, Black Spire, let me know what you think of Captain Cardinal. You know, I uh, hope you guys have a good day. See you later.